Do you want to see how I do my hair? Stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Sheila. Thank you so much for being here. You always make my day. Well, in today's video, due to request from subscribers, I'm going to demonstrate how I do my hair. This may not work for you, but it may. And it doesn't matter if your hair is the length mine is. It could be a little shorter, a little longer. You just kind of make do and do what works for you. I try to keep it simple. I don't want to spend hours on my hair. So that's what I'm going to show you. Now, I'm no professional, and I don't feel I'm qualified to do any hair tutorial, but I can show you what I do with my own hair. So that's what I'm doing today, and Jean, my beautiful friend Jean, one of my subscribers, this is for you. All right, I set my hair in these hot rollers. And they you only have to leave them in maybe 10, 15 minutes. These have been in for about an hour, so it's going to be pretty tightly curled. These are Remington. It's a set I got off of Amazon, and it was, oh, maybe... $20, $23, not much. And it's just the roller and the clip. And they go in very easily. So I'm going to take these out. I left them in just so you could see, you know, approximately how I put them in. Like I roll these back, these back, these back. I'll turn around. You know, I just kind of put them anywhere. You don't have to go in any certain pattern or anything. I, they could be going up, down, sideways. It doesn't matter to me. And I'll take these out. I'll speed through this so it doesn't take up much time. And they just kind of fall out. You know, when you unclip them, they don't get tangled in your hair or anything like that. And it really makes it easy doing these hot rollers because you put them in dry hair. And like I said, it only requires 10 minutes or so and you're done. All right, I got them all out and here's what it looks like. And so then I just kind of start rubbing my fingers through to loosen them up because look how tight this is. So I'll just rub my fingers through it like this. Loosen it up, break up those curls somewhat, and that's it. I had one here in my bangs, but I took that one out already before I started the video. So there, that's what I get. I have some pretty wild hair, and it, it's thick, and it just kind of kind of grows out this way instead of down this way. So it's always really full here. And that's why I always pin it up because I can't stand all that hair hanging around me. So anyhow, after I get that out and run my fingers through it, I'm not putting any product or anything in it, then I pin it up as you know. Now normally I have it all pinned up. In the last few videos, a couple videos, I had it down, but I still had these sides up because I just can't stand it if they're not up. So what I use here is one of these little hair bands. They're stretchy. I get packages of them from Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Ross. This one happens to be silver, and it stretches, and I use one of these brushes like a uh, rat tail brush. I also have a rat tail comb. And I'll take a section like right here at the crown and I just pull it up 
and I'll, I'm looking at a mirror over here in case you're wondering. And I just kind of lightly tease it like that, just so I can get it up in this band. So it's a section, you know, I kind of go around like this, probably about the size of a piece of bologna, I guess. That's kind of a weird thing to compare it to. And let me put my glasses on and look in this mirror to make sure I have it up. Yeah, I think I have it up. All right. Once I do that, I take this hair band and I wrap it around twice. Kind of like a little Bambi thing. And I pull that down tight. Doesn't have to be perfect or neat or anything. I just, I just want that there. So from there, I'm going to take my sides and I'll again just do a little back combing. Bring this up. Go up under this little ponytail thing and put a bobby pin in it to hold that up there. Then I'm going to take the other side, do the same thing, pull that up and get another bobby pin and put that. Now I've got those sides up off my face. All right, let me look in my mirror and check and see if I did that okay. I did. And this piece here, which is kind of part of my bangs, I leave that out and I do again a little back comb and I just kind of comb it over to the side a little bit like that. Then I have this hair pick. I've been using these since, gosh, I was a teenager. I love them. And you can kind of pull some of the hair out like that if you need to. You know, lift it a little bit here. It just gets in there and pulls it out. And then the rest of it, I just run my fingers through like this. And that's when it's down. Now, if I want this to be higher, which I like high hair. I need high hair. My head's too flat. Again, a little back combing. And then I just kind of spread it out like that. And then I can spray it. I have this um, John Frieda. It's called Sheer Blonde Crystal Clear Hairspray. I really like this. Yes. And I could spray this, you know, spray it in place and play with it and kind of piece it and stuff like that. And put a little spray and that will hold it. And I also have a hair pick. I can run through here like this just to kind of smooth it out and however it falls, it falls. That's good enough for me. So let me look at this one more time. Yeah, and I have to kind of pull my bangs over a little bit and kind of make sure everything's blended. I think I'll put a little spray on this piece right here. Just a little bit not much and that's it now since i do wear mine up almost all the time what i do to do that involves nothing but bobby pins so i take up the next section not a big section but you know just just enough and i pull that up under this little ponytail thing and I'm going to put a, another bobby pin up in there and I'll go on this side pull that up and put a pin in there now I'm almost done because I've got most of it up okay so now, let me see. Okay, I just have this bit in the back to do. So I'm going to probably use two more bobby pins. So I'll take 
another section. Pull that up. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Stick a bobby pin in that piece. Make sure it's under this little ponytail thing. And my last little section. And pin that up. There. All right. Now I've got it all up, I think because I can't see. So let me check in the mirror. Yes, I do. It's all up. Then I can spray it. These sometimes little flyaway pieces, you know, are sticking down. And I, I'll spray my fingers and just go like this to keep them up. And hopefully the back looks smooth. I can't see the back. Let me turn around here so you can see. So, if there's like any separating or splits, I just, you know, take a comb and smooth that out to make sure that it looks smooth going up. And then, now that I'm completely finished, again, I like height. So, I can take this, take a comb. I could make it as high as I want. I mean, I could have it that high if I want to. That's a little ridiculous. But, you know, I'll feather it like this a little bit, and then I'll separate it. Just pull it apart where it's kind of messy looking. Yeah, that's pretty messy looking. And then you can spray that to spray it in place. Or put a little texture spray there. Or you can use that... Um, Oh, what's it called? It's it's like a balm, a putty, a hair putty, if you want it real piecey, and just kind of rub that on each piece to separate it. And that's it. So it's quick, and it's easy, and it's comfortable. It doesn't involve anything but bobby pins and one little hair band. So that's it, Jean. That's what I do to my hair. And the bangs, my bangs always look like this. Let me see if I can, you know, I just kind of sweep them to the side a little, separate them here, and that's it. All right, well now I'm going to leave you with an inside beauty tip. My inside beauty tip today is on celebrating, celebrating you. Celebrate yourself and everything about yourself. Now, of course, this video was about hair, and I showed you how I did mine. A lot of women feel their hair is their crowning glory. I mean, if you have a bad hair day, your whole day is just messed up. A lot of people feel that way. And we do have bad hair days, but we may have no hair at all due to illness. Uh, treatments, medication that caused our hair to fall out. We could have very thinning hair where we have bald spots in various places on our head. We could have very, very short hair, had to get it all chopped off for one reason or another. Maybe it was severely damaged. Doesn't matter what it is. Celebrate who you are celebrate yourself. In Psalm 139, 14, it says, this is the New International Version, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. And we are. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. And that's all we need to focus on. It doesn't matter what condition, what our hair looks like, our body, our face, our features, everything that we put so much focus on and emphasis on for our outward appearance. Keep in mind that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. God doesn't make any mistakes. And you are beautiful just the way you are. 
if you celebrate that, maybe you won't have a bad hair day anymore. Maybe you look at your hair and say, well, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, but I'm thankful I have hair and I'm going to celebrate myself anyhow, in spite of it. I just wanted to offer that little bit of encouragement to you all so that you always remember that you are perfect just the way you are. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya!